Loved ones coming together to celebrate the life of a man killed during a shooting in North Natomas. Investigators say that Giovanni Pisano, known as DJ Gio, was murdered earlier this month. And while authorities are still searching for the gunman, today a private service was held where family and friends were able to gather to say goodbye. Fox 40's Claudette Stefanian was there as well. Community members stood shoulder to shoulder, aiming to say their final goodbye to DJ Gio the right way. He would be happy. He would be proud. Uh, he would want it to be a party. He would want people to celebrate. He wouldn't want people to sulk. Uh, I got a little fifty dollar room, but uh, he told me to slide in. That, that's the type of person Gio was. In a room packed with people, those who loved him silently rallied in support, some choosing to wear a bracelet with his name, another duo wearing a sweatshirt with his pictures, people taking to the podium, striving to keep his memory alive. He opened the doors for me, and I stayed there for at least two and a half weeks. I'm pretty sure his nephews and nieces like, who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> Others struggled to find the words, fighting back tears. I just want to let y'all know. Y'all hug everybody before y'all leave. Kids, I can't hug Gio's mom turning to hugs to help deal with the devastating loss. He was DJ Gio, but he was also an uncle, a son, a brother, um, a nephew, and that uh, he didn't deserve to die the way that he did. DJ Gio! And up above, images of Geo played, showcasing a talented DJ on the rise. When we first met, the first couple years, we didn't like each other because I thought I was the best DJ in the world. And I realized quickly who really was, you know, and it was him. Whose life? Life is the most precious thing we have. Time is not promised. And, and that's just the unfortunate reality of, of the way that the world is today. Should have never been taken in the first place. Reporting from Citrus Heights, Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News.